Did you know you have the power to transform your health and your life? After years of suffering with undiagnosed autoimmune symptoms, I found myself on an endless loop of expensive supplements, broken promises, and drive through meals. I was a busy working mom struggling with chronic pain. I could no longer keep up with life until I decided to take my health into my own hands. I discovered the healing power of whole foods and incorporated a healthy lifestyle that is simple, affordable, and maintainable even when life gets busy. With easy whole food meal prep, meal planning, and wellness strategies, I healed my autoimmune symptoms, regained my energy, and lost 30 pounds along the way. I discovered I had the power to change my life, and I know you have that power too. Whether you're looking to reduce inflammation, lose weight, or optimize your health, this is it. Get ready to discover the vibrant life you deserve with the Prepared for Wellness podcast. I'm Ashley Cavolo, and I can't wait to join you on this journey. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. So I really could have included this topic in my last episode But it's really important and is a bit longer than some of the other pieces in that episode. So I'm giving it its own space. We're going to talk about bioengineered foods, which are also known as GMO foods. Um, They are genetically modified in a lab to increase shelf life, increase nutrients, resist plant disease, and resist pesticides. So this is basically manipulating the natural state of a food to make it do whatever we need it to do. Some of the most common GMO foods are apples, alfalfa, canola oil, corn, fish, potatoes, soybeans, and squash. Um, They can be sold in the whole fruit and vegetable form or added to processed foods. Um, So according to ToxinFreeUSA.com, GMO foods are banned in over 60 countries due to health risks. They can cause allergies, suppress the immune system, deplete nutrients from the body, damage to the liver, kidneys, pancreas, gut, and reproductive organs. They can cause tumors, cancers, Parkinson's, asthma, depression, anxiety, and birth defects. In addition, the effects on the environment are detrimental. GMO foods are becoming increasingly resistant to pesticides, which has led to an increase of weeds and bugs that are resistant to these pesticides. This requires the use of more pesticides increasing the health risks to anyone ingesting the crops. So how do you know if a food is GMO? Food companies are now required to label the foods that are genetically modified. This label is required to appear on the outside of GMO foods and packaging. And many food companies that do not use GMO foods are now adding a label stating their products are not bioengineered. So in order to avoid these types of foods, avoid processed foods, stick with organic whole food ingredients, avoid foods with bioengineering food labels, and choose the options that have the non-GMO label on their packaging. There is no reason to have genetically modified ingredients in our foods when we can simply choose natural sources. And it costs more money, so why would we do it? So I just thought this was important to mention. Um, Hopefully you learned a little something today on top of last week's episode. Just keep this in the back of your mind when you're shopping and go online and search the labels I'm talking about. And as soon as you see it, you'll realize, oh, I've seen this everywhere. Just remember to look for those when you're shopping and it should help you out. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope this episode helped you in your health journey and just maybe you learned something new. If you loved this episode, please leave a review. When you do, you are helping this podcast reach others around the world. Visit my website, preparedforwellness.com to view my coaching offers, free recipes, and so much more. Don't forget to grab your free gift while you're there. Follow me on Instagram at Prepared for Wellness and join my VIP Facebook group, Prepared for Wellness Community. Don't miss out on the fun and special announcements.